Welcome back to the Quicksilver Pro. An exciting quarterfinal is just getting started with a great rivalry. Gabriel Medina and Julian Wilson have a lot of history together and key moments in their career. Oftentimes in finals, they share the water together. It's hard to beat Medina's track record at this venue. But as you can tell, these guys both wanted to establish themselves on the opening exchange. Julian getting that wave during the break. Yeah, it's at that really strange sort of time of the tide. We're going to see a lot of small scores, but then in amongst it, we're going to try and see some good surfing. Gabriel Medina, look at the energy that this kid brings to it. He knows this is a big heat. In the scheme of things, John John just won his heat, so Medina's got to keep up the pace. But he's got an informed Julian Wilson to uh, contend with. As Julian goes to the air there, almost pulling that one off. A little bit off balance right there. Coming down, so Julian Wilson, Gabriel Medina making it clear what they want to do. Medina set up snap. He already has a lot of speed, floats the next section. Big bottom turn and great timing for the finish. So using his backhand well, using the space on the face well too. Dropping a pair of nines yesterday, losing to a 10-point backside aerial. Medina though. Have a look at this last turn from Gabriel Medina. Just beautiful timing right there, getting that board and body literally upside down on a very small wave. Incredible talent is Gabriel Medina. What a heat this is going to be. Former champ at Chopu. A couple of finals at Pipe. Here comes Medina now. Just essing his way. Took a look at that one. Ends up kicking out. Now he'll watch Julian Wilson take off. The Australian steps up little speed turn to get down the line. Blow tail ends up incomplete. Julian Wilson and Gabriel Medina were knocked out early at lower trestles. Both of them expecting to win that venue. And now both answering back into the quarters here. Front side car for Wilson blasting it off the lip now. Still has some speed to burn. He'll stuff the climb but he's got two solid maneuvers to be scored. Wilson started with a 2.0. Mendo a 3-1-7. Just a working man seat. He's starting to head the right direction, Potts. Yeah, that's going to be his best score, Joe. A couple of solid turns from Julian Wilson. Medina out the back, though. Opt in for the backhand. Pack right in the pocket. Starting to run out of room. So just two quick maneuvers. Medina's best score, his second wave of 5.5. At the moment though it's on the on the outside bank and these guys utilizing the right handers let's have a look at julian wilson nice clean opening maneuver how's that bottom turn i mean even in small waves julian wilson gets so low off the bottom nice deep bottom turn to snap combo and then medina on the backhand nice and tight in the pocket on the backhand you're able to get that board a little bit more vertical sort of pivot off that back foot so the turns are going to look a lot different. Julian on his front side with his left foot forward. Gabriel Medina on his backhand with his right foot forward. Medina's learned to win on that backhand a couple of times. Even his win back in San Francisco over Joel Parkinson. You look at that beach break format, you'd expect him to do a few rotations above the lip. It all came down to backside turns, but now he's winding up for something massive. There's that big full rotation. Medina lands on his feet. And he is fired up to come down with a major aerial. His aerial repertoire took him to victory last year over Beat Dervich. Gabriel Medina, well, we talked about quite possibly a disadvantage on your backhand, but not when your name is Medina, as I said. And right after I said that, have a look at this wave right here from Medina. Races down the line, widens that stance, clicks perfectly, full rotation, lands on the roof of the wave. Comes down oh so easy. That's going to be a massive score. Let's have a look at Medina as he holds that rail off the bottom. Now he starts to get that body rotation before the board leaves the water. The upper body spins, the lower body follows. Eye on the prize right there, lands on the roof of that wave and comes down nice and clean. So Medina needing a three, uh, sorry, took the lead with a 4.83. So trying to replace that 4.83, which I think he's done. Julian answers back. Driving down the line with some speed, snap to hack off the top combo. He's out of there. Moving quickly through his decision as he's trying to make a solid comeback here. Only needed a 3.5 for the switch, but we're waiting on scores. Scores in for Medina, an 
gets the lead with that one. Wilson now needs a 6.85. What's that old saying? You got to fight fire with fire. That's it. These guys love these kind of conditions when you want to go to the air. Just uh, that wind just keeps that board stuck to your feet. You don't need to do the grabs. So you can get that body spinning quicker, get that rotation quicker. Here we go. Medina's up again, and his confidence is through the roof. He'll just throw another full rotation with a snap before that. Just to continue on this roll against Wilson. It's oftentimes when you see Gabriel throw down something really massive, he can't sit still after that. He's feeling the rhythm, and he's going to try to put this one to bed quickly. <laughs> yes, he is. 8-1-7 on his last wave, races down the line, and just into that spin really quickly there. No grab again, so... Gabriel Medina, as you said, Joe, once he gets his confidence up, he is unstoppable. Mid-face turn and then just spins it, gets that body going. The upper body goes first and then the lower body sort of follows. It's almost like a golf swing where your hips come through, drop that club on it. Medina just spins and pulls it off. Here he goes again. Back to live, a little punch out on the lip for Medina. Speed float, he's got room to take off. Throws that tail out the back and he can't find the finish. But he's inspired by these inside corner ramps. As Medina heats up, let's now catch up with John John Florence with Strider. So, um, a lot of them are running really fast. So are you prepared to go all the way if they do today? Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm stoked. I'm and now it's important for the world title showdown which is going to be fun to watch. Still waiting on that official call to see if that will be happening this afternoon, Potts. You know what, they've got to keep a close eye on it. I mean, that tide's coming in. Julian up and riding. Julian now with a big wind-up. He kicks out. We saw during the interview, Wilson went for a big air, so he's already responding to the message that Medina's made. As we see the next heat making their way out into the water, Julian Wilson. Won't get this wave because Medina uses priority, spins his way out to have another rotation, lays back and recovers. When it looked like it just would be a throwaway spin, he's able to pick himself back up. Now he already has an 817 for a, more of a radical air, but it just shows his connection with his board right now. He's pulling everything off. Wilson's running out of time, needs an 824 to move on to the semifinals. 824, well, it's a pretty solid score. It's, it's up into that excellent range, but he is uh, definitely well and truly capable of doing that. We've seen him post massive scores through his career, but uh, time is the enemy right now for Julian. As we hear the horn sound, Gabriel Medina evens up the matchups of all time against Julian Wilson. Three apiece now as Gabriel, world number two, heads into the semifinals. And he'll take on the winner of the next heat.